I talk really loud when I make videos, so don't freak out. Hello friends, what's up? You guys are probably clicking on this video like not to see my face, but to see something else or somebody else. As you can see, they are on my shoulder right now. I wanted to introduce to you guys the new member of the families. He doesn't have like a significant name, like a 100% like a name yet, but his name might be Cheddar. And now if you guys follow me on Instagram, mainly Snapchat, you guys would know that like I love cheese. And I don't want to call him Cheddar because he looks like Cheddar. I want to call it Cheddar because I just think it's a unique name. And like I've had people tell me to name him Simba or Coco. Like Sunday kept calling him Coco. But like personally, I like Cheddar because it's, it's kind of unique and it's also personal to me. And I don't know where the intro of this video just went. I don't know what the hell that was. I got a 10 week old toy puppy. I got him yesterday. So it's been a little bit shorter than 24 hours since I got him. This is Cheddar. Possibly Cheddar. He's so cute. He is a 11 week, a uh, 10 week old toy poodle. So he's a hypoallergenic. You guys may know that I was like severely allergic to cats, but I'm not that allergic to dogs. He's just so cute. He just doesn't like to sleep yet because I think he gets nervous like that he's gonna be left alone or something. Poodles usually, like I'm sorry, like I, they look like those show dogs and they don't look cute at all. Like I'll insert pictures. But um, when I saw poodle puppies, I was like, oh my God, they're so freaking cute. Look at this cutie pie. Look at him, he's so cute. This video is gonna be all over the place because I'm gonna keep getting distracted. Got him last night at like 10. It was super late last night. So after the kitten thing, like when I was super allergic, I was so sad I had to give her away or it was a him actually. And, um, but then I was like, no, like I really want a pet. And I've wanted a puppy from before I even got the kitten. So that's been like, what, two years now, I want to say. And I've wanted a puppy since then, but I just like have, I wasn't like, I don't know. I don't like, I didn't think I was ready and like whatever for it. So finally, last night it happened i'm gonna make like an updated video i told you guys that i was actually gonna make an updated video telling you guys like why i just disappear from youtube or stop posting once in a while and it has a lot to do like with anxiety and stress that i like i feel on a daily basis type of thing i'll touch on that like during my get ready with me but he's just like a bundle of joy and i really needed something to distract me from like the evil not the evil thoughts but like the anxious thoughts in my head so if i can stay bit does this mean he's thirsty, by the way? Because I think it does, and I keep giving him water, but I'm not sure if that just means he's happy. You guys can let me know. Please. My dad, first of all, is dying to see him. Papa, you're going to see him soon when you're back. I don't know what I wanted to tell you in this video. Much like my haircut video, I, I did not plan this. I just grabbed him and just came and sat in front of you guys. So last night we got him. He slept really well. Like, he's already kind of potty trained, so he goes on the pads or whatever. Like, he pees and poos on the pads. He's 10 weeks old, so he still hasn't gotten all his shots yet. So I'm going to obviously wait till he can go for walks like after he gets the shots because whatever that's what you're supposed to do yeah last night was okay but i kept waking up because i kept waking up to check up on him and he didn't cry or anything i feel like tonight he may because maybe last night was a little bit of a shock to him so he may cry a little bit in like in his playpen thing or whatever but that's fine the color of him like his skin or his hair color is red so it's a red toy poodle i don't know much about him yet because like i mean i just got him last night but he still has to get in like a proper routine in order for me to figure out like how how he had like what kind of personality he has. he's look literally looks like a little bear i mean we planned it for a little bit but didn't know when we would get get the puppy and then yesterday was and i just like we went and we did it um or was there kind of did but that's fine what else do i want to tell him yeah the first night was fine i still ended up I, we went to sleep at maybe three because he just has so much energy he was running around until 3 a.m so i was trying to play with him and like get him tired but it just wasn't happening so we probably went to sleep what around like 2 30 or 3 and then i ended up waking up at 7 30 just because i don't know i kept waking up through the night anyway then i had to feed him at eight so yeah i just ended up staying up went to the pet store got a bunch of pet supplies which i still feel like i need more so so far the first night has been fine tonight we'll will be the second night so you guys are seeing this on the second night today is Tuesday I'm excited a little nervous for like the adjustment period because I know it takes a little adjustment for the puppy like to get used to the style of the house or like even just like the regular schedule of your day or like whatever it may be so I'm a little nervous about that but I think it'll be fine once um, it gets there but other than that I'm super excited because he's 
just so freaking adorable like I, I like he's just a little cutie so from what I was told um, he will be f about 10 pounds he is two pounds right now I feel like he's a little big for a puppy like I was looking at him compared to other puppies and I was like oh he's a little big for a puppy but that's fine like if you saw Manal Manal had a Maltese her Maltese was fairly tiny and she was 11 weeks she was a week older than him but that's fine I mean I don't mind I didn't really want a super super tiny puppy because I wanted him to be like big enough to kind of walk around without me feeling like I may step on him I mean, he's super like playful right now like even in his pen I think because he was kind of trained to be in like a playpen so when I put him down he whines a little bit for like maybe like two minutes but then you can walk around doing your thing and he'll just play within his pen and he'll just like watch you or whatever I don't know this video this video is gonna be super short I just wanted to introduce you guys and I had a few questions of course for all the other people out there that have had pets before I know a lot of this search uh, a lot of this stuff I can like research on Google or whatever I sometimes like to go off of experiences of other people especially with puppies like I feel like Google can tell you I feel like Google can tell you like you know stuff but it's also good to know with experience and just I don't know I'm a new puppy owner so I'm not too sure about certain things and I don't think certain things Google can tell you and stuff I don't know that's just me though. My first question is that right now, like he's not playing with toys at all. Like I, I got a few like squeaky toys. I also got like bones that have, that are like made of silicone or rubber that have like little spikes on them for if he's teething or whatever. He doesn't play with them. Like he just drops it and he rather chase my hand or he rather like chase me around than actually use um, his toy. Like I even got a bone. I got a squeaky toy. I got a teddy bear. Like he plays with the teddy bear a little bit, but he gets super aggressive and he and he just like flings it around but he doesn't actually play with a toy so I'm not sure if that's normal I tried to google it and they said I don't know what they said they told me to play with it and show him to play with it. I don't know like you know what I mean so is that normal like he'll eventually play with it or do I just need to keep keep getting a bunch of toys just to see which one he likes the best that I also don't know and I don't know any other tips and tricks especially if you have the same breed if you have a toy poodle just let me know I don't know what I actually want to know but like any kind of insight would be great um, I am gonna get like a little monitor for him like I sleep he's gonna sleep in a pen do you hear that so he's gonna sleep in a pen like I'm gonna sleep on my bed and he's gonna sleep in like a little play pen next to me um, like on the floor so that's gonna be the nighting situation I'm also thinking of getting like a like a monitor for him in case I ever do have to leave the house which I won't have to like without him or even I won't like really have to leave him alone but in case I have to what do you like sh I think a monitor would be the best like I'm thinking of getting one of those ones that you can kind of like watch him and give him dispense like treats or something if needed or like talk to him but I don't know like I don't know if those work or like what I should do like he will never I work from home luckily so he's not really gonna be home alone or anything but he is a baby so I don't want to spoil him so when he grows up he's kind of spoiled so um I don't know <laughs> please help like I I love him but I also want to make sure that I set him like I, I have a good setup for the future instead of like babying him now you know what I mean so let me know like what I need to do and oh and also let me know names okay so I don't want no like normal name like I don't want like I don't know like Bob or Toby or like Simba like those are very common names the reason I like cheddar is I'm sure it maybe uh, I'm not saying that no dog has the name cheddar but it's just like personal to me because I love me some cheese and I don't know it's just like it's just a cute name my cat was named Gohan but that was I mean like I feel like he suited Gohan like but this puppy is he's just so cute and he's fluffy he looks like a bear so he wouldn't suit Gohan like if you know who Gohan is like you guys would know like look at him he's just a fluff ball he can't be called Gohan is your name a cheddar his name's Cheddar. I did tell you guys on Snapchat and stuff that I'm gonna be back on uh, to uploading five times a week. So instead of starting Monday, I'm starting today, which is Tuesday. So I'll be uploading five times a week again. I'm sorry, I went MIA. I will be addressing that in tomorrow's video where I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. And I'm just gonna let you guys know, like, I don't know, shit I deal with and why I just like go off the grid sometimes. Cause I'm kind of cuckoo, not really, but kind of cuckoo. And let me know some pet cute names pet cute names cute names for him and also let me know any suggestions it could be like a broad like actually no don't be too broad like if you're not a pet owner don't give us suggestions 
you know like if you own the pet especially if you have the same breed just let me know just like things I may need to know that Google can't tell me I stayed up till like 3 a.m. just like googling googling a bunch of shit just trying to read articles from like veterinary veterinary Vet, vets so for toy poodles they're supposed to be super super smart like breeds that's why a lot of po uh, a lot of poodles are put in like the show is because they, they can i don't know they're just smart they can jump through hoops and all that kind of stuff so i do know that they're very smart they're very loyal of course i did rear that i did read that they uh also the toy uh poodles they have like separation anxiety like toy poodles like so if you were to leave them they do kind of freak out so that's a little stressing for me not too much because i'm going to be with him all the time I think he's thirsty. I'm gonna take this as him being thirsty and we're gonna call it a goodbye Cheddar! Cheddar! He doesn't- I'm not calling him Cheddar because he looks like Cheddar once again I'm calling him Cheddar because I love me some Cheddar. Cheddar? Oh, he's sleepy. He's sleepy, but he literally refuses He refuses to nap <laughs> Are you sleepy? Please tell me what this means, if this is normal, but I kind of freak out when he does that because I feel like he needs like water. And I've tried to Google it and I'm not too sure. Because they said how to tell if your dog is thirsty is by like pulling the skin behind his neck. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate any suggestions that you may have. We're about to go take a nap. Well, not me, but he will. But make sure you guys tell me about what's happening here. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to the vet tomorrow to get him checked up again, just to make sure everything is Gucci. Anyways, I love you guys. Mwah. Bye!